Do you know how to analyze data? Do you know how to apply the measures of central tendency to a problem? Let's take a look at one involving football and then look at how we can use the measures of central tendency to analyze the data. The Rockland Rockets have had a really good season so far. Out of 12 games, they have won 10 out of 12 games. Their games have the following scores, 21, 24, 14, 7, 9, 21, 17, 20, 9, 9, 6, and 12. Do you know how to find the mean, median, mode, and range of that data set? Well, first, let's think about the Rockets, and let's write out the scores for those games. Here are the scores from those first 12 games. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to find the mean. The mean is also the average. And now that you're in algebra, you're going to see this symbol to represent the mean. When you see that symbol, you know that you're looking for the average of a data set. How do we find the mean? We find the mean by adding up all of the scores and dividing by the number of scores. So in this case, we're going to add up all of these values and we're going to divide by the number of values, which is the number of games. So we can call the scores A and we can say that A, when we find that sum, is going to be divided by 12. So let's add all of those scores up and then divide by 12. When we add those scores, we get a total of 169. And we're going to divide that by 12. When we divide that by 12, we have a mean of 14.08. And then there are a lot of threes, but we can round to the hundredth place here and just list 14.08. If we want to round to a whole number for a score, we can round up to 14. That is the mean of this data set. Now what about the median? Well, the median is the middle score. And to find the median, the first thing we're going to have to do is put this data set in order from least to greatest. Here are the scores listed in order from the least score to the greatest score. Now we want to find the median, the middle score. There are 12 numbers written here. So we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there's an even number of scores, which means that our median is going to be between 12 and 14. Now you might already think it's 13, I'm sure of it. How can you test that out? We can test that out by adding these two middle scores. So we add 12 plus 14, and then we find the average. Divide that by 2, since there are two scores. 26 divided by 2 is 13. 13 is indeed our median score. What about the mode? The mode is the value that occurs the most. Let's look at this data set. Right away you can see that 9 appears three times. So 9 is the mode of this data set. And the last measure that we want to find is we want to find the range. The range is the difference between the lowest score and the highest. Our lowest score is 6. Our highest is 24. Difference means subtract. 24 take away 6 is 18. Our difference is 18. This is the range of the data. So now you have seen the measures of central tendency in action. The mean, the median, the mode, and the range.